Now, this guy has to be one of the dumbest older criminals that I've seen in a while. But I'll be honest with you. I think a lot of people don't understand there's definitely a method to his madness. But what's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. Now, this guy's pretty much been making the headlines. Uh, people saying that he's self-snitching on himself. What we talking about? What we talking about? Keefe D was recently arrested in connection with the 1996 murder of Tupac Shakur. Now, everybody's calling this man dumb and, and self-snitching. And yeah, I, I think there's some truth to that. But if any of y'all have ever had any kind of affiliation with any kind of murderers and watch how they move, some of them have conscience and they have a heavy weight on their shoulders. So I think... I think a lot of y'all are underestimating Keefe D wanting people to know that he has something to do with Tupac's murder. I mean, he, he definitely wants everyone to know that he has something to do with Tupac's murder. If it's for clout, but it also, it could be for clout, but it also could be for wanting to pay the consequences for something you've done bad. I've seen it happen before. Have you ever heard of G-Dep? Remember when G-Dep just went and told that he had heaviness on his heart? And he killed somebody in the past, and he went from being a superstar running with P. Diddy to a felon. Now, at mentioning P. Diddy, P. Diddy, I wanted to talk about P. Diddy because I've seen it being passed around mainly by WAC 100 that uh, P. Diddy, or you know what, I'm going to call him Puff Daddy because when all this stuff happened, this was Puffy, all right? So WAC 100 is pretty much saying that Puffy is scared and nervous since Ke Keefe D got caught. I mean, WAC 100 has been pretty much saying this for the last year. Uh, in fact, let's hear exactly what WAC 100 had to say about this. Keefe D got to be 60, 58, 59, 60. If he got out once, what you think he gonna do on the who he fell, then left him for dead, ain't never acknowledged him, Boom, 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 boom. And whack, I don't Where'd know. Where did the hit take place, huh, whack? Where did the hit it come from? Who did he? Know. Everything. This can get ugly. It's gonna get nasty, whack. This can get ugly. Hey, it's interviews where that lightweight, he dry telling oh, already yeah. on public. Hey, no, like, listen, bro. That 58, he get put in the box. He ain't doing life. 20 years, 20 years is life to him. They can get out. 20 years with halftime that sound like life facts right yeah. all right well you know what you know well if i give you whoop de whoop whoop de whoop whoop and i'm gonna be real i'm gonna be real if he line puff up and then on the west coast gonna give a fuck about it absolutely not this is perfect timing for a like him to get out on it and can't nobody really say nothing because all these is just getting down on this is cool. I'm telling you, that puff shaking like Don Knotts. Whack, you just Man, you up said that two years whack. ago, too. You hit whack. it right on the head, too. <laughs> whack. I just put up for to go crazy. Yeah, you going viral. This is already going viral. You know, they're already on this. Now, me, I totally disagree. I don't think, you know, I've heard other people saying, hey, P. Diddy is trying to do the right thing, and he, he probably thinks there's something on the horizon. Nah, P. Diddy's pretty much being P. Diddy getting drunk, driving around in golf carts. Look, he just got pulled over today or the other day. Look at this. You hear the new album, the love album. I want you to hear it. I want you to hear it. When you hear it, I want you to blast that shit as loud as you can. All right. Because you can do that. The love album. We, the love album. I'll blast that at home. Though. Okay, blast cool. Home. All right, thank you for your service. I need a ditch. Oh, it's, it's fucking Friday. <laughs> what did you think he was going to get? <laughs> <laughs> But I'm love, I'm love, y'all. But I want to say that P. Diddy is is probably not worried. I highly doubt that he's worried about this situation. And I'm going to tell you why he shouldn't be worried. For those of y'all that are familiar with this whole situation and Tupac and the night that uh, he got killed in Vegas, even if they investigated Puffy and tried to bring charges against Puffy, there's always going to be an underlying factor that's going to draw a reasonable doubt. If you remember the story... Orlando Anderson is the one that everyone is saying, even on the streets of L.A. when I lived there, everyone was saying Orlando Anderson killed Tupac, right? Even Ke Keefe D says that he passed the gun to Orlando Anderson, right? 
that leads a big situation that is reasonable doubt for someone like P. Diddy being connected to this because Tupac, Shug, and a whole clique of death row record members, they stomped him out. They stomped Orlando Anderson out. And that's why they were out there driving. They were looking for Tupac because they had just stomped out Orlando Anderson, right? So that right there is a reason where I highly doubt that P. Diddy is going to do any time, any crime for this. I know that they're saying that uh, Keefe D got the gun from Puff Daddy. So immediately in the aftermath, um, you know, Diddy hears about the shooting, finds out that there's, you know, been Tupac's been shot and is in the hospital in Las Vegas. And according to Keefe D, he gets a phone call. He's actually with Zip, the intermediary. And they're here, they're back in LA, and Zip takes a phone call, and it's Puffy on the other end of the line, hands the phone to Keefe D, and Keefe D, I'm sorry, Puffy asks, and man, was that us? Was it, you know, what just happened out there? Keefe D's like, yeah, that's us. So what happens next is, um, you know, Keefe D's already under a separate investigation for his ongoing drug trafficking. Um, he never gets a chance to hook back up with Puffy um, until almost, what, six months later, where he's over at the Peterson Auto Museum when Puffy's back out here with Biggie, and he walks up to him to have a conversation about it. Well, Puffy's aware that the FBI's been watching him um, out here in Los Angeles, and the last thing he wants to do is be directly associated with this guy that he's had this agreement with to commit a murder. So he tells Keefe D, you didn't know, man. Now's not the time. We're good right now. And uh, you got the FBI, you know, I got the feds all over me, was his statement. Keefe D recognizes, okay, cool, it's probably not a good idea for us to be, you know, associating in public together. Um, there's a lot of heat on because of the Tupac investigation, both on the East Coast, West Coast, LA, Las Vegas. And uh, so it's just good business not to be, you know, seen in public with a guy that you've conspired to commit a murder with especially when you know you're being watched by police. Uh, that gun has been around. If this is true, because I know that the feds did say that they pulled out a weapon from Keefe D's place. If this is true, you know how many fingerprints is probably on that gun? They will have to do some analytics on that gun to try to see if they can pull Puff Daddy's finger on it, which I, I highly doubt Puff Daddy gave him that gun with fingerprints on it. But also, I think we're forgetting who P. Diddy is. Like, for those of y'all that have forgot, P. Diddy, folks, he shot up a whole club in front of everybody. You remember that whole situation with Shine? Shine shot, shot in the air. P. Diddy shot at people, right? And P. Diddy did not care. He switched his lawyer from Shine. Shine ended up going doing 10 years, got deported, and Puff Daddy went on with his life. And you also can't forget about who Puff Daddy's boss is. Some of y'all know who P. Diddy's boss is, all right? I'm not going to be on here talking about it. It shouldn't be no secret. But these guys, even though he's a billionaire, they actually have bosses, right? And unless he does something across his bosses, P. Diddy is not going to jail, all right? But I will say this. This situation, uh, I'm kind of excited about it. You know, I was a Tupac fanatic growing up. I love Tupac. Uh, when I was a child and he got shot and killed, yeah, I cried because he, he, he was pretty much uh, the first celeb that I looked to as a child. And um, a lot of people are wondering, after all this time, why uh, are they bringing charges up on somebody on a Tupac case, you know, over 20 years old? And I'll tell you this right now, man, everything in America, y'all know, got something to do with money. It all got something to do with money. This court case... It's going to do numbers. It's going it's going on, but I'm over here just talking some shit. But anyways, you know this is just not about me. This is also about you. Uh, that's what I have on this situation, but I'm very interested to see what y'all feel about this whole case, Keefe D, Whack 100, and P. Diddy. Let me know in the comment section how you feel. Y'all think that the feds are actually going to bring charges up on P. Diddy? Or do you remember how Tupac stomped the hell out of Orlando Anderson and then got killed later on? Let me know, y'all, that I remember that whole situation, all right? Moxie out.